Good morning, Newman Smith. Happy Thursday. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Well, let's start with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. All right, well, happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to Newsday with Dr. J. And you may ask yourself, why do we do the news? Well, remember, we do the news every day so that we can build culture on our campus, and that's a culture of positivity and love for our great school. So each day, we try to feature scholars or professors who really love our school. All right, well, Mr. Hall asked me to tell Mr. Sanders happy birthday. So, Mr. Sanders, here's your happy birthday shout out. Thank you for being a professor at Smith. Well, our word of the day is entail. It means to involve or include. A doctoral program entails long nights and a heavy workload. Yes, I know. So, any, if any of you are interested in pursuing your doctorate, we have several doctorates, doctoral uh recipients of doctoral degrees on our campus. Uh, there's Dr. Adams, there's Dr. Lee, there's Dr. Wilcox. We've got um, Dr. R. So, so many, I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. So many of our professors have that and they can tell you exactly what that workload entails. All right, our quote of the day is, never underestimate the investment you make in yourself. So folks who go to get their doctorate make a huge investment in their self because education is something that cannot ever be taken away from you. All right, don't forget, next week, Monday through Friday, no tardies, no absences, you go in, the, you go in for a drawing of a gift card to Walmart, and Walmart sells everything, by the way. You go in the drawing for a gift card from Walmart. That gift card will be drawn on March 7th. We're gonna have two winners per grade level, so we're super excited about that. Okay, don't forget this Saturday, the Harlem Wizards. We can't wait. Doors open at 5. It's going to be super exciting. And then finally, on our news today, we have Juliana, Henry, and Derek. And they're here to talk about Orchestra UIL. Come on over, guys. So, if I understand this correctly, you guys are about to go and perform three numbers on the stage, one number in the sight reading room, and you have been practicing millions of years for this so yeah. tell us about this process so for our program we're doing a full orchestra concert tonight in preparation for our pre uil next week and we have been practicing uh every morning a tuesday and thursday for about maybe a month or maybe five weeks now and we've been putting a lot of work and effort into trying to put out something that will get us another year of number one division one sweepstakes Absolutely, because I think we have some kind of streak going on. We'll tell you more about that later. Uh, I know that when I go to the middle schools, I always say, man, I think we have 37? Somewhere, yes, somewhere around 37. Like the, it, and it is the longest standing uh, streak in the state of Texas. I'm so Ooh. proud of the NSO for that. So proud. Well, tell us what instrument you play. Uh, I play violin. Uh, I also play violin. I play the cello. All right then. And so I remember when I was the middle school principal, these instruments are huge, some of them. Yes. Now, violin, not so much as the cello, but the bass. The bass, oh, yeah. the bass is huge. And you'd see these tiny sixth graders hauling in their bass. My son played the bass, that's how I know. So, I mean, it was huge, huge. I couldn't even get it in the car. So shout out to those bass players. Wow. So this is next week. And if I understand correctly, we're hosting all of the orchestras from the area. Yes. Oh, that's so, exciting. Yeah, so a lot of orchestras are coming in uh, over Wednesday through Friday to perform, and because we're hosting the competition this year. Absolutely, and competing. Yes. 
and competing. Well, I'm super proud of you guys. I am super proud of our NSO. NSO stands for the Newman Smith Orchestra. It really is a point of Trojan pride for our school. So thanks for being on the news with me. Will you help me close out? Yeah. Perfect. We love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And make, make it a great, great day, day or not. The choice, choice is, is yours. yours.